So these are the uh, radiator for the Transalps. These are the, well, the China AliExpress version. I bought a kit. I do not recommend buying them by default. And yes, I've painted the fan. Um, if you buy them, this mount, this one, and this one do not align, align at all. You have to manu manually drill these holes bigger, all three. It gives you some room, to, a bit more room to play with. But still, you have to put some force on the actual casing, which is fine. I mean, it has enough free play in between, so it won't, uh, so the actual fan won't hit it. If you really have to squeeze it in there, and then it just barely makes it. So, and there's also another issue. If you look at the way the radiator is mounted, there's one here, one here, and two go in this way. By default, also when you buy them, this one is too long. It means you have like a massive gap of like, I think it's uh, one centimeter, in between it's the frame where the M6 bolt goes into and this rubber. Because this one is too long, so it hits the frame a bit too, too soon. I'll show you. On the other side, which is exactly the same. This is how I've sorted it. I have put two bolts in between here and there. Um, it's an M8 bolt with an M6 nut. So it just goes straight through, it's like a thick washer. You can also use four washers, but when you take it off, four washers fall down. It's just one piece of metal. And that solves the issue. This one, this one, and this one align. On the other side, also, the height of this one is slightly off. So if you start with this one, you kinda are uh, too high for these two. I'm going this way. So you need, really need to stretch the rubber, because it's, of course, it's rubber. So, so it has a bit of tolerance, but you're right on a very, very edge of tolerance on this old rubber. The good thing is you probably replace them after 30 years, so the rubber is worn out maybe a little bit. So. That, uh, that helps um, but if you buy new rubbers they will uh, yeah it can be quite a struggle